history of images dates back more than a million years, and the natural sciences have long traditions of illustrating their research objects. The visual research methods presented in this video series have their roots elsewhere in anthropology and sociology. The first anthropologists employed still cameras to document aspects of culture. Their photographs supplemented the ethnographic methods of participant observation, field notes, and interviews. One landmark study from the 1940s of Balinese culture involved more than 25,000 photographs. Many of these early uses of images are now seen as racist in their framings. The modern era of visual research in anthropology was launched by John Collier, a documentary photographer involved in government-funded ethnographic studies of Native South American and Western American cultures. In 1967, Collier published a handbook with instructions for using photography to investigate common anthropological themes such as the layout of a community, domestic environments, and technology. Today, the research area of visual anthropology can be accessed through the journal Visual Anthropology and the Society for Visual Anthropology. The field of sociology spent much of the 20th century conducting large-scale quantitative surveys. This changed when in the 1960s sociologists became engaged in issues of war, race, class, and gender. Many associated research programs included photography. Visual sociology came to be defined as a collection of approaches in which researchers use photographs to portray, describe, or analyze social phenomena. A contemporary example of visual sociology is Changing Works, Visions of a Lost Agriculture. It employs portrait, landscape, aerial, and archival photography to display changes in dairy farming in upstate New York. Starting points to explore visual sociology is the journal Visual Studies and the International Visual Sociology Association. The fields of anthropology and sociology are the sources of most, though not all, of the theories, techniques, and reflections found in this video series. My own field, information science, is a relative newcomer to visual research methods. Our first original application was the Information Horizon interview. It entails a semi-structured interview while the participant completes a diagramming exercise of their information horizon, that is, their perceived information environment. In the mid-2000s, a groundbreaking ethnography used visual research methods to discover how undergraduate students write research papers and use their university library. Student participants conducted photo surveys of their lives and made mapping diaries of their movements across campus. My own i Square research program introduced arts-informed methods and the draw-and-write technique to information science. To study information in a new way, my team collected more than 5,000 original drawings of information from research participants in 12 countries. A recent book provides additional background and showcases six different applications of visual research methods in information science. Yet visual research methods are still uncommon in information science. This video series aims to expand and enhance their applications.